Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. How are you doing? So this pack was suggested to me by Matthew who was my like third subscriber ever. <laughs> I checked it out and it seems to be very interesting. It has a lot of quests like 800 and it has a very neat uh, progression system. I should probably not talk that much and I'm trying to find the sun. Yeah. Um, I'll try to find a place to spend the night and then I'll bring you back because we have armored zombies and they're not wearing leather armor, they're actually wearing quantum armor, so yeah. Okay, so it wasn't that difficult because I got some black wool from there, I got some wood from the farms and luckily there was a village next to us, so I have a bed. Um, I have to gather some resources here because the recipes have been changed. Um, and vanilla tools don't work, they have like 5 durability. Look at the recipe for chest, it needs treated wood. Or I guess I can also make it with a tough tool rod, but uh, generally this is the recipe. I'm so glad that there was a village nearby, otherwise I would have been screwed. But there are a few things that we have to do, so it's the this quest, the welcome package, uh, which will give us leather armor, and leather boots. I already found an iron boot so we don't need that and we can also make a backpack using this. Great. So this is done, right? And then we need to get into tinkers. So I will be needing a few flint. Oh, also we have vein miner. Um, it doesn't work without any tool. Um, you need to have something in your hand for blocks that do not require a tool. So for instance, if you have, I don't know, raspberries in your hand, you cannot vein mine stone. You should be able to vein mine dirt and uh, trees. I made a stencil table, a pattern chest, a part builder and a tool station. And we are going to make our first tools out of flint. Uh, theoretically I can use a vanilla pickaxe and mine a few cobblestone and make them out of stone but we have flint so why not. Um, and instead of making a hatchet and a shovel I'm going to make a mattock because I have to carry one less tool and it does both of the same jobs. And we are also going to need a sword and that will be also out of flint. I'm not familiar with these small backpacks, but I'm familiar with the satchels from Thermal Expansion. They are very useful, they're upgradable, they're configurable, and generally they're very neat. So I need a few uh, tin ingots, and we have furnaces over there, and also in some other buildings which I checked. I have to do a little bit of mining and try to find some tin. Um, then we would be able to, uh, I don't know, loot this place and go and find the place that I want to call home. Certus Quartz has a mining level of Cobalt. Ah. With this stupid thing, the only thing I can mine is Copper. Not Tin, not Iron, literally nothing. So we have to progress, I guess. I've been looking at the quest book and finally I realized how stuff works. So there is a progression system which you can see here and it looks very confusing. And we have 14 different harvest levels for different types of ore. For instance with my flint uh, pickaxe I cannot mine anything except uh, copper. If I get copper I will be able to make this one which I don't know what exactly this is but then we will be able to progress. Unfortunately I'm a lazy person so I'm not going to do that. We're going to jump to harvest level 5, 6. Yeah, which is obsidian. So we're going to need the Tinker Smeltery, which uh, we can easily make, but we are going to need an iron bucket. I don't want to make a clay bucket because I think they're disposable and I prefer an iron bucket. How do we get iron? We have sieving. <laughs> so we're going to need a little bit of gravel inside a flint mesh and, or I don't know, maybe a string mesh. It should not be a problem. I will be able to do that because gravel is everywhere. I also remembered that this is spawn and there was a huge bone structure here, so I thought I'd come here, vein mine a little bit of bone so that we will have bone milk. And this is why you should have a sharpening kit, otherwise um, you cannot repair them. And I always carry an extra bed. Ex nihilo 101, we have an oak tree, we use a crook, we get a ton of saplings as well as some silkworms. Now we would be able to get string. Oh, this is a giant oak tree, okay. 
Well, we have to infest it anyway. Luckily, I have plenty of worms. We can also cook them and eat them, so... Food-wise, it should be fine. They should be yummy. We don't have twerking in the pack, but if you walk around it, this process will be a little bit faster. I think so. I'm not imagining things, am I? Seems to be fully infested, so if we vein mine the leaves and we break our crook... Okay, we get plenty of string, that is good. And now I just need to take care of gravel. And it broke again. But that's more than enough, I guess. It's more than two stacks. Okay, good. Now we need to get gravel. This cold desert is basically covered in gravel. It's in smaller patches, but it should be enough. We just need a few stacks in order to get enough iron to make a bucket, maybe some armor, and uh, cheat the system a little bit. It helps if you look at the recipe. It requires mana-infused gear and nickel and an enriched alloy for sieve. Why? Well, this does not change the actual plan. We will get a loot chest, that is good. And I want to open it in case we get an iron bucket. Which we don't. Oh, but that's nice. Our slime issues have been solved. Anyway, I will be making a lot of grout, I will be making the smeltery, and I will cook some of these buckets, and we should be able to get some lava for the smeltery and make the obsidian. So, in any case, we're good. I just crafted all the parts that we're going to need for the smeltery and we have also finished the quest. So we claim our loot chest and we also open it in case we get something super special. Yes, that's super special. I'm so happy. Thank you. Let's set it up. Well, this thing is set up and I guess the main question is, can we make obsidian? Why? Alright guys, I tried to make obsidian inside the smeltery, that has been disabled. I tried to make a stone barrel from Ex Nihilio, but unfortunately that requires an obsidian, so that's also a no. I want to cheat, and the way to cheat is that I found two pieces of electrical steel inside a blacksmith over there. And if we manage to smelt them, which we can, luckily, we would be able to make this pickaxe head. And this should have a higher mining speed. It has mining level of Certus, which I believe with that I can mine iron. That's a good jump. I'm not complaining. Okay, so I wasn't that stupid. You can make obsidian with this. That's good to know. I smelted some clay because we don't have access to aluminium or gold in order to make the cast. I have a pickaxe and we would be able to make a pickaxe cast. And then I have to switch this to molten electrical steel and we will have our new pickaxe. And of course we switch it with our uh, flint one and yes, we should be unlocking some stuff. No? Okay, I'll go get some iron then. Yes, we can mine iron. That is lovely. Good. One engineer's hammer and we should be able to make a few iron plates. That is good and now we can craft buckets. Four buckets. Now I can make a lot of obsidian. Hi. Look what I found. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Slime cube. Okay. Alright guys, a bunch of things have happened, so let me update you. Instead of making a pickaxe out of obsidian, I'm going to make it out of alumite, because that has a higher mining speed and a higher mining level, so we had all the ingredients. It's just an alloy of aluminium, iron and obsidian. We had them all, so I used them. This pick cannot be repaired anymore because I do not have access to electrical steel, but I believe we can make normal steel with this. So if we mix that with coal, with iron, we get steel. That's the most easiest steel I've ever made. <laughs> anyway, I managed to make one satchel. I had some tin ingots, which I found in some chests, which I don't remember, but I ran out of leather. 
Found some leather. Um, seems I had a little bit of obsidian inside the smeltery, so by mistake I also made three ingots of dark steel. This is good! So, a new pickaxe out of alumite, copper and iron, and then we need to upgrade the sword, which will be like so, alumite as well as steel. I don't know what it does, but should be fine. And we can also upgrade the mattock. Obviously, the best part is we can also make a hammer. Great. I don't have enough aluminite left. I guess. Mm, I have four ingots, that's okay. I can repair them a little bit. And besides, I will get more aluminium um, in the process, so it should be fine. And finally, I can check out what's inside here. Will you drop that? Please drop that. Drop anything. He didn't drop anything. Okay. Diamonds! Oh my goodness! I personally thought that since we cheated the system and got alumite, um, it would be easy to progress through these quests. Unfortunately, it's not, because whenever I want to get Certus Quartz, it tells me I need a mining level of Cobalt. This is Obsidian, so we need to get Cobalt. I need to go to the nether because I want to be able to mine at least whatever it is in the overworld and uh, other planets, we do it later. I think this should be able to mine obsidian, right? Yeah, good. So we cover the rest. And we shall have patience. See you on the other side. Okay, so it's not a bad nether. I mean, ah, Tom Craft, okay. So I'm not on top of a lava pool, which is good, and we should just look for cobalt. I see Aradite, so that's good news. Aha, cobalt, what we came for. We got two ores, that's good. We need more. Okay, so I made it back alive, and we can also make some manulin, I guess. Manulin sword will be nice because making an armor is going to be very difficult You need the leather to make the iron and I'm guessing you need the iron to make the diamond and uh, yeah It will be very complicated. I have to upgrade my tools again. Yes, now I can mine Certus Quartz That's great finally. So um, I had to make this out of Manulin because apparently Manulin is also a mining level and it's higher than Cobalt So I thought it should work and I'm guessing this is done no? Why? I have you. Oh, this is charged. We need un- Oh, this is also charged. This is also charged. All of them are charged. Why? Ah, these are not charged. I have to process them? How? Well, I looked and apparently a Certus Quartz ore comes from uh, Y level 30 something. Silk touch needed. Why? You don't give it to me like that? Ah, okay. We're fine. We have two and I can hand over this quest. No? You have the quartz. Ah, okay. Cool. And we take torches because I don't have enough. And the next one will be iron ore, which I already have, and we get lava. And the next one is lead. Do I have lead? Oh yeah, I had lead. Uh, so we take bronze, I don't know. And the next one will be osmium. I have osmium. Well, I, I did a bunch of mining, there is redstone there, there is gold there, and I saw other stuff too. Okay, it's nice. Uh, so, what would we get? That could have been useful. 
Night Slime Electrum. Okay, something that I did not know about this pack is that mining has been tweaked and it's very worth your time if you have the proper tools, which we have, and oh god, it's already breaking, so we should get out of here. But I veined mined here and I got 57 iron in one go. This was all covered in iron and there is a little bit of nickel there which I really want, so we take that and we go. Maybe some gold. and silver. These villagers have been very nice to me. I managed to find a small temporary home and I managed to get some starting kits. But this is not going to be our main base. Our main base is going to be that way. There is a step biome and I like it a lot so we're going to get stationed there. I will be making some signalum as well. We, I already made invar and electrum somewhere. Yeah. So we would be able to upgrade the satchels and I can move. Um, but there is a quest that we can do and that's entering into Tomcraft. I guess pies will be better. At least, oh, it's both of them. Good. And now that we have the crystals, all I need is to sleep. And when you wake up, you get a book. So this book tells you how to make Silas Mundus and it's just three different crystals, flint, a ball and some redstone and we can make a few of them and let's make a homonomicon a bookshelf and it place the torch good but we have a homonomicon great oh that was a quest where uh i'm guessing tomcraft yeah well sorry i found it it took me a while but it gives me a console command. Okay. Alright guys, it's also time to wrap up the episode. We didn't manage to get far into the pack, we just managed to get good tools and mining in the overworld should not be a problem. And we also managed to go to the nether, so it's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, what I will do in between episodes is that I will upgrade the satchels, I will start collecting stuff, looting this place and move towards the steps and I will make my basic 9x9 so that we will have a base of operations because uh, I cannot mine here if I have to take everything to another base. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.